Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Good teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, How are you? Teacher. How are you? So-so. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Somebody is, <laughs> is just shooting at us. Hold on. All right, no more. We're not in war anymore. Okay, well, I'm happy to see you again. I hope you are too. Me too. Hello. <laughs> I hope you are too. Great. All right, let's begin. Um, <clears throat> so last night we were going to study phrase helpers, right? <clears throat> we studied some of them and the meaning, right? Let's see, let's see if you remember those. What are the phrasal verbs we studied, guys? Do you remember? Can you tell me? Pick up. Uh -huh. Let's make a Turn list. Down. All right. Turn down. Turn down. Turn down. Turn down. What else? Hung up. Hung up, yes. Pick up. Hung up. Pick up. Hang up. up. Turn down. And that's it. Turn only on. Turn on. All right, we only practice the conversation, right? We haven't seen this video, I think. Let's watch. Mm, get the notebooks, right? Please, I want you to write the list of new phrase helpers. So get the notebook ready. We're gonna watch. Write down the phrase helpers and the meaning, okay? We're gonna watch this video twice. using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence. Guys, uh, did we see this video yesterday? Did we see it last night? No, right? We didn't watch this video last night? All right, good. They're Did like, mm, 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 mm. okay, great. So um, there are some things I want to explain. 
Uh, repeat after me first, okay? Let's repeat. Say, turn down the TV. Turn down, down the TV. Turn down the TV. Right. Turn the TV down. Turn, turn the TV, TV, down. Down. TV down. down. Pick up your things. Sorry, who's that? Karim, all right, guys, whoever that is, turn the turn down the microphone. All right. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna mute everyone. All right. Repeat after me and don't unmute the microphone. Okay, just repeat. Pick your things up. Everybody repeat, even if I don't listen to you, it's okay. Turn it down. Pick them up. Very good. All right, now this. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Very good. Okay, so this is what I want to explain. Look, <clears throat> when we have phrase verbs, right? <clears throat> what are phrase verbs, guys? How are they formed? First of all, we use them in informal English. And how many do we have? More than 10,000 we saw last night, right? So many. They replace, they substitute another verb. We have three ways of saying a phrasal verb. In this case, all of these verbs, all of these uh, phrasal verbs are separable, meaning that we can leave it together or we can split it. You have two options. Not all phrasal verbs are separable, but the ones that we're studying right now are separable, okay? For instance, I have three ways of saying it. One of them is pick up the phone. What do you think another way of saying this is? Pick the phone up. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Pick the phone up. So that means I separated the phrase helper. And it's okay. You can leave it together or you can separate it. Now you can also substitute the phone. Okay, if I say... The teacher, the subject is she, right? Okay, or the I need the object actually. So I'm gonna substitute the phone. How do I substitute the phone? Pick it up. Uh -huh. I need the object pronoun. Object pronoun. By the way, object pronouns guys are yeah. me, it, what else? Pick me up. Oh, uh -huh, exactly. Him, Him her, this, uh, their, them. No, it's not possessive. It's us. Yes, the them. The. Them. And I'm missing one, right? Our, us. Ah, us, us. No, it's not possessive. Uh, it's uh, object. Us. Us. Okay. Object. If you don't know, you can think of a verb. For example, you can say. You can say, tell me, right? Tell me why, or tell it, tell her. You can think of a verb and you will get the object pronoun. Okay, that is another way of saying it. Pick it up. I'm substituting the phone by the object pronoun, in this case, it. But the thing you cannot do, you can never do this, is pick up it. This is impossible, right? It's absolutely incorrect. So we have three ways. We're gonna see another example. And uh, choose a phrase of work, guys. We're gonna use put off, okay? What's the meaning of put off? What is the meaning? Arturo, you have a meaning? You're on mute. De como, como tirar. No, to put off is to postpone. Okay. To postpone. All right. So I can say, for example, the the meeting. Okay. 
So I will say put off the meeting. What else? Two more options, guys. Help me. Two more options. What else? Put off Move the, the meeting off. Yes, exactly. The play Jose, oh, Jose, please, can you turn the, the microphone off? We hear a lot of noise. I don't know. I think your microphone or something. Sorry. Sorry, Jose. All right. The next one is <clears throat> put the meeting off. The meeting Finally. off. Put it. Put it off. Put it off. Right. Can I say put off it? No. That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. This is incorrect. Okay. So that is how you're going to use the verbs we're studying right now. Not all phrasal verbs, but the ones we're studying right now. Um, now I need you to help me with the meanings, okay? What is the meaning of, did you write a list? What is the meaning of drop off? What is the meaning? Drop, drop off is the opposite. Drop off is the opposite of pick up. Okay, for example, who has children in this group? Children, do you have children, guys? No. Yes, I have. You do? That is Carlos Calderon, okay. Yes. Carlos, usually, when we're not in the pandemic, right, in, in this context, what time do you drop off your children? When I... When, when they used to go to school, what time did you used to drop them off? Drop them off at um, 12 o'clock. At 12? Yeah. All right. So look at the example, guys. Carlos drops his children off at school at 12. And what time did you pick them up? And I pick them up. At uh, 4 p.m. Fix them up. I'm substituting children because I already said it, right? At 4 p.m. Yeah. No, that is short. Short schedule. Daycare. Ah, <laughs> that's why. Okay, you understand the difference, guys? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Very good. You can use this for people or for objects, right? It's the same. Now, what is the meaning of put off? I just said it. What is it? Postpone. Postpone, very good. What is the meaning of hang up? No. If I say, hey guys, pick up the phone, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick up my phone and now I'm hanging up. Hang up the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, no, when the no, end no. of the call? Yes, but also also you can use it for clothes, right? I'm going to hang up my clothes. It's the same. It's, in, in Spanish, we use the same verb too for both things. It's the same. All right. No, it also means to put up, like to hang something up. Hang up the jacket, the sweater, uh, anything. The towel. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else? Then we have, we have put back, put away, and put on. Okay, what are the meanings? So look, um, what do you think the meaning of put back is? It means to return, to return. return something. Mm -hmm. To return something to its original place. So imagine children, right? Imagine I'm a little, a little child, and I'm like, "Mommy, what is this, mommy?" Right? I don't have children, guys, but imagine, <laughs> "Mommy, what is this?" And I'm like, "Hey, put them back, because you're gonna break them. Put them back." And they're like, "Okay, okay." They put them back. Is that clear? All right. Then we have put away. Um, 
So I was drinking juice, right? And I say, guys, excuse me, I'm going to put away the glass. So I'm like, gonna put it back where it belongs. So that means I'm gonna take it to the cabinet. Maybe I'm gonna wash it and put it away in the cabinet. Is that clear? Oh, yes. yes. Put away is to put something where it belongs. All right. And put on is to wear something. This is the opposite of, it's the opposite of take off. Take off. To how, which is to remove something from your body, let's say. So you say, put on a sweater, take off the sweater. And take put off. it on and take it off, okay? That's what it means. So is that clear? Yes, sure. that was a big explanation. We're gonna practice now. Don't worry. The reason why I'm doing this is because we're about to practice. So, um, we're gonna forget about this and let's do this exercise. Everybody, go to the platform and let's go to section one point four. Right here, you have some objects like the. Um, what do we have? I want to check the pronunciation. Let me see, Fer, Fer, what is your last name? Fernando, right? Yeah, Fernando. Fernando, what's your last name? We need to type the last name as well. Ramos. Fernando, what? Sorry. Ramos. Thank you. All right, there it is. Fernando, read all of them. The books, the toys, the radio, your jacket, your boots, the jar, the light. The trash, the dog, and on it. Mm -mm. Yeah, very good. So make sure you're saying boots, right? That's the only one. So what are you going to do? Here you have a, oh my gosh, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> it's already done. So you have phrasal verbs and you have to complete it with the thing that you think it's applicable, right, in the exercise. So let's do 1.4. We're going to work in pairs, all right? Is that clear? Let's do this exercise together. All right. Yes. Um, okay, yes. Teacher, I'll right. give you about four minutes. Let's do that. Okay, good. One second. All right. So accept the invitation, please. Let's do exercise 1.4.
Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear. Oh, uh, number one. Or the light. Because clean. The light, yeah, the light. The lights. Okay, the third one is clean. Clean, clean the yard. <laughs> uh -huh. Sí, porque te... Oh, the books is the right answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the number six, please take off. No, the the number four is books. 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 Mm -hmm. books. And the number six. The number four you have to change because you write books. Well, but I books. can't. Yeah. I yes. can't. Ah, okay. And number six. Please take off. Six. We can Six. put the, the boots. Take off. Please take off your boots. Your boots. That's true. <laughs> I put the boots. The boots. Your boots. boots. Okay. Uh, seven. Seven. Um, the boots. That is in the, the, four, the four one. Ah, and the four is the, the, the book. Yes. Yes. The, the books. No. No. Um, yeah. The four is exactly uh, you I put in know. books. Yeah. Remember. Turn, turn, turn the right off, please. Yes. Um. So maybe the second sentence is um. Turn, turn radio, no, turn oh. TV off, please. Turn the radio off, please. Yes. Yes, because the, the TV okay. I see is, is a, a, a black, uh, I don't know, is turned off right now. <laughs> yeah. You need to, to turn on. Mm. I don't remember the take off. It is take. It's take. Tomar, agarrar. Uh -huh. no, yes. Take, take off. Take it off. is your boots. Please no. take. Take off no. is off. to remove something from your body. You, you, yeah, right down the, the, the Take meaning. off the jacket? Take in no. Take off and take in. You can say take off the jacket, yeah. yes, but you can also say take off your shoes, for example. Your boots. Yes, your yes, boots. Both, both are okay. Yes, your boots. Okay. Seven. Please take off your boots. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seven. Okay. Han. Han. Let me amend. Please, yes. Han. Han. Sí, el Inter creo yo que ha de ser, pienso porque se le corta. Bueno. You almost finished? Yeah. You finished? Okay, we're good. We're gonna go back now. Welcome back. There's so many people here. Hi, you have a question? No, we 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 didn't we didn't complete the sentence. We're gonna finish right now, so you can do it with me. Me too.
Can I give me the answers? Oh, sorry. I interrupted, <laughs> I interrupted you guys. We were finished and we were gossiping with Anna and. <laughs> we were gossiping. <laughs> that is a problem. Some people had already finished. So, okay, what is number one? Toys. The toys. The toys. They have the toys, please. Very good. Number two. The lights. Turn the lines off, please. Lights off. Very good. Three. The yard. Clean the yard up, please. Yeah, read the whole answer, guys. Clean the yard up, okay. please. All right, very good. Okay, four. four. Please, please put out. the books away. The trash. Put the books away. Yes, very good. Five. Please turn, turn down, down the, the radio. The radio. Both. You can say yeah. the radio, the TV. Okay. Please okay. take off your boots. Please take your off boots. your boots. Please take off your boots. Right. And seven. Hang, hang the jacket, hang your up. jacket up. Please. Please. Yeah. Your jacket. <laughs> right. Eight. Take out. Please take out the trash. The trash. Please take, take the trash. Right. Touch. Please take out the trash. Right. Nine. Oh. Please let the dog let the dog out. But oh, let the dog out. You know that song, right? <laughs> yeah, well, that's how I know the. <laughs> Listen to the song. <laughs> to the to the dog. <laughs> he was barking at the right moment. <laughs> All right, great. And turn on the TV. Turn on the TV, please. Yeah, or please. the radio. It could be either or. Also, guys. There are more. There is more than one correct answer because you can also say take off the jacket, right? Your jacket, or take off your boots. So it could be more than one. But we're gonna write the okay. one on the platform. It's not that it's completely incorrect. So yeah, everything is good now. Now we're gonna study the pronunciation of them. Let's see. All right, how do we pronounce phrase helpers? Both of them are going to receive the same intonation. Pay attention and see how that works. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Go ahead. Pick up the toys. toys. Pick up the toys. Pick up the light. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up. It's an M, alright, map. Map. Pick them up. Pick them up. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. How do we pronounce this? Let's see, number one. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. 
I would say I would call you by your name. So, uh, Carlos, number one. Pick up our teens. Okay, next. Ligia. What is it? Cut it out. Very good. Patricia Flamenco. No, nothing. Maria Burgos. Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. All right. Uh, Gerardo Magaña. Put the phone down. Down. Ennio Cruz. Ennio, yeah. What sentence uh, I, I need Here. to read? Last one. Put the phone down. Turn the radio up. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Now everybody repeat after me. Let's say pick up our things. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Put it out. Put it out. Put it out. Put me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me off. Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Very good. Okay, now what we're gonna do to sort of finish this topic is we're gonna practice these questions here. All right, if you notice, you can see the phrase upper is being used, right? I want you to put special focus on them. So I need you to emphasize them when you practice them. Okay. What time do you have to turn down the music? And that will be specific, say on, on weekdays and no, on the weekend. So guys, <laughs> hold on, I'm going to read your microphone. Kind of All right, guys. Um, what time do we have to turn down the music in El Salvador on a weekday? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Weekdays, weekdays. Uh -huh, on weekdays, meaning Monday to Friday. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Yeah. What about on the weekends? Yeah, yeah. It seems like 11. <laughs> mm, 11. <laughs> if we have a party, Depend. Depend. If we have a party in our house at, at 3 a.m. Until 2, I think it is. 5 right? a.m. 5 a.m. No, not four. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I think the same. There is a limit. Yeah. A limit hour for you buy alcohol, 11. and I think that it's the same limit for I the music. I think it's 11, 11, 11 p.m. Or neighborhood call, call the police. <laughs> really, even if it's the weekend. Yeah, the well. weekend, yes. Okay, so if you notice, we have a phrasal verbs in context, right? But when you answer, please use the phrase upper so that you can memorize them, okay? We're gonna practice right now. Take a screenshot of this. I'm gonna send it to the group anyway. We're gonna practice in small groups of three. Any questions? No question, teacher. No, all right, good. Can we make groups? Give me one second. Mm -mm. Three, four, two, three. Okay. Mm. Accept the invitation, please. Let's discuss the questions. Here we go.
I think that the something 4 p I am um, 12. It depends the, the day. On weekends. And weekends? Yeah. But are really correct because I I I put it I I put it off the exercise and the diets too. Yes. It's going to be to ten p.m. Yeah. 10 PM. Okay. Yeah. Sonia. What time do you have to turn down the music on the weekend? In the weekend. On the weekend, yes. At 11 p.m. Too early. <laughs> okay, that's that's great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the second okay. the second question. What are some things you always put off doing? Uh, put on? Put off. Put off. Put off, yes. Yes, put what's the meaning of put off? To postpone it. Uh -huh, to postpone, very good. Okay. What's something you put off doing, Arturo? Okay, I put off... What, what are some I think when I have to do some exercise and... I have I don't have the 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 the, time, the complete time to to finish that to finish that I think okay okay and and down my exercise so for example you yeah. need two hours and you don't have two hours you you put it off yes yes I I, I got to put it off okay Mm -hmm. What about you, Maria? Um, put, put off? Mm -hmm. uh, I um, turn on the radio in the morning. Um, I brush my teeth and I take a shower. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, what's the next question? I think the next question is what pieces of clothing do you put on in winter? Uh -huh. How about in the summer? Right, so I would like that answer to be in winter I put on a jacket and put on this and that, all right? Let's do it like that. I'll be back. Okay. You guys. Keep it up. Okay, okay. Sonia, do you want Something I prefer to fall back later. No. Yeah, sorry, my friend. But I need to do that. <laughs> Very common thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know to tell him and apologize for call back. <laughs> no. <laughs> For example, if you have if you have a problem with your family and your and your best friend call you, you mm. can solve the problem in the family or the animal because it's the, or in the summer. Okay, how about in the summer? In sandals. Yes, some sandals. Different country or in in southern and in with music. Okay. Okay. And how long do you watch TV before you turn it off? In my case, I I usually watch TV only when I play video games, and I <laughs> turn it off. Mm, so so at 8 p.m. Oh, yeah. 
on TV or Netflix, the movie. Okay. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Three hours watching Netflix. Okay. Okay, I turned off uh, around three or four hours uh, later because I don't have so many time in during the day. So I can only see four hours and then I'm turning, turning off. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. you're doing great. Okay, thank Keep you. Up. I'll be back. <laughs> Talking about talking about girls. Talking about girls is the teacher. All right, what you want to hear? What were you saying? We were talking about about the kind of programs in TV. Uh huh. And we were talking about investigation discovery because we were discussing about. Uh, what question? How long do you watch the TV before you turn it off? We we were discussing that it depends of the kind of program are we watching. For example, right. if it's a Netflix series or if it's a program of history or something like investigation discovery. Okay, very good. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with girls, but okay, I'll trust you. And <laughs> no, because in, the, in, the, in ID, there are some cases of of who kills who kills her wife. Yeah. Or boyfriend who kills uh, their girlfriend. Girlfriend, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's why we were talking about boys and girls. All right. <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah, suddenly just... you appear. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just being nosy. No All right. What's the next uh, question? Is, do you put your phone away before going to bed? Nope. Mm. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, okay, uh, using it. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello. I we finished. <laughs> we finished. Okay. Finish. Yes. Really? The answer is short. <laughs> short answers. Uh, you were supposed to yes. use the voiceovers. <laughs> All right. Awesome. We're going to go back then. Nobody mm -hmm. has finished except you, girls. <laughs> <laughs> What's the rush? We, we are fr faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're very fast. Okay. Let's go back then. Hold on. We were gossiping again. <laughs> gossiping, I know. With, with David and, and Carlos. <laughs> it, yeah. it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, did you finish all the questions? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. Almost. Almost. Only one. Only one? So only one of our two. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we missed one. Okay, we were just missing one, all right. That's how we find it. That's no problem. Okay, awesome. Great yeah. teacher. I I heard you speaking and it was all right. I didn't hear many mistakes, so that was good. Now, is this topic clear after the discussion? I hope it is. Is it clear? So so. So so. You still need practice. Okay. Please, well, but we need to practice. Memorize. <laughs> yeah, you need to know the definitions. We're gonna build some examples, maybe. That's what we're gonna do. Um. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do as a group. But first, let me ask you, um, children, what is something you always put off doing? 
Ya cuando empiezan a memorizar los huevos, no voy a decir si que si caes un poco de pero yo Estamos escuchando el chamber, pero eso. Chachimba. <laughs> All right, no, no, guys. <laughs> I'm like, Shh, be quiet. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, what is something you always put off doing? In our case, in our case, uh, Betty and Carlos, we were talking about go to the gym now in, in these days. Mm, yeah. Because of the pandemic. Yeah. We, we can't. We can't. Good excuse, right? It's like, yeah. finally, <laughs> right? a reasonable excuse Isn't and acceptable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's closed. What can I do? <laughs> Yeah, that's something I always put off starting my diet. So I understand. I feel you. <laughs> um, it's hard. Well, we're going to make examples. Let me see. With, um, call someone back. Help me out. Okay, we're going to write an example with where, not with, put on. Give me examples, guys. Let's do this quickly. And with this, we'll finish. For example, in summer, mm, put a shirt. T-shirt. Put on shorts. T-shirt. Shirts. Shorts. What else? Sandals. Passing. Passing. Jersey. Passing. What is that? Bikini. Bikini. <laughs> 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 yeah. Passing. Don't tie. Bikini. Sorry. Hilo. Let us see. Now we're gonna say. <laughs> Put back, put back. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> put back, okay? Help me out, come on. Anybody out of you, out of the 30 students, we can do this quickly. Mm -hmm. Books. Mm -hmm. The books. The keys. The remote control. <laughs> um. Okay, sometimes I don't, uh, that's a good example, I like it. Sometimes I don't put the keys back in the, um, I think it's oh. a, like a key rack. I have a board. I have to put the board to put the, the keys. Yeah, right, let me see if it's a key rack. I wanna see like the, the thing that, uh, yeah, it is, look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it is. It's yes. that. Yeah. So sometimes you forget to put it back, it right? The you forget to put it back. You just don't want to do it. Okay, good example. Now let's see, put away. Mm -hmm. Put away the, some people when uh, I buy the food, uh, put away in a stander or containers that food yeah. in the refrigerator. Hold on, so let me see. People put the groceries away when they come back. Yeah, right. That works. Some people put the groceries away when they come back from the store. Exactly. No, not only in the cabinets, also in the fridge. I don't know, whatever, right? So they put them away, each of them in its due place. All right, very good, good examples. One more, put on, put away, put back, and take off. Take off. Mm -hmm. What is the first thing you take off when you get home, there, guys? <laughs> That's a personal question. I take off my take off shoes. My, my shoes. shoes. Yeah, take off the first yeah. thing. Mass, mass face. My jeans. <laughs> I take off our, my, my shoes. My, <laughs> so this my guy clothes. takes his jeans off first and then the shoes. And, and, <laughs> and this okay. guy, my clothes. Because the pandemic is dangerous. <laughs> Mess face. Or some people take their jacket off. That's the first thing. What else? Or even the cup. I don't know. Jacket, t shirt. Jacket, t shirt. The t shirt. We're going to stop there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no more. We're going to stop right there. Anyway, it, I think it's clear, right? 
what I want you to do right now, um, we're gonna finish right now, but I need you to send one example. So this guy, send one sentence, okay? What's up right now after class? Using the phrasal verb that you consider the most different, difficult. So using the most, I would write it like this, the most difficult phrasal verb for you. Not the easiest one, the most difficult one. All right, most difficult then only. Okay. only one, one example with the most difficult one. If you wanna send okay. more examples, do so, but in one single message, not a lot of messages, all right, just one. <laughs> so it's up to you. Any questions? No question, teacher. No questions? We're gonna take a, a picture daily. You saw that message, right? So, yep, I will be I, taking- Yeah, some person sent a message about the picture. No, yes, the and from picture? administration, they also yeah. told to send it anyway. So, uh, let's take Yesterday, one. Yesterday, some people sent a uh, picture of yesterday. No, every day I'm gonna take, every night actually, I'm gonna take a picture for the attendance. So, it's gonna be there. All right, on the count of three. One, <laughs> hold it, one. And say a whiskey. Three. There it is. Give me one second. Hold on. I need two pictures because the group is too big, so I can only get like 20, some people, not everyone. Right. Here's one and picture number two. Here we go. One, two, three. And it's no salvo. Por costo sonre. Okay. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow, guys. Have a beautiful night. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.